When a synth is running, we often use a set message to change a control value. And when we do, that change happens more or less instantaneously. But maybe that's not what you want. Or maybe at some point you asked yourself, is there an easy way to slide from one value to the next over a period of time? In fact, there is. Lag is a UGen. It's essentially a type of low pass filter that uh, causes a signal to interpolate between changes over a period of time. In the case of pitch, it creates a glissando effect. And in more general terms, lag makes a signal behave sluggishly, like it's moving through molasses or something. But the best way to understand how it works is to hear it. So this frequency argument here, all we have to do is pass it through a lag and provide the desired lag time in seconds. And once the sound is running, whenever that value changes, it takes that much time to actually get there. As a slightly shorter alternative, we can use the convenience method dot lag. Now keep in mind this lag time doesn't have to be fixed. You can add a new argument for the lag time and set it as fast or as slow as you like. And of course you can effectively bypass a lag by setting the lag time to zero. But uh, don't use negative numbers for lag times or use them at your own risk because weird stuff starts to happen. Okay, so lag gives us control over the duration of the interpolation, but it doesn't give any control over the shape of the interpolation curve, which in the case of lag is always exponential. And it's for this reason that I usually prefer var lag, which has a similar convenience method. In addition to a lag time, var lag accepts a curve value. And the behavior here is exactly like curve values for envelopes. So zero is linear, Positive values bend the shape so that the value changes slowly at first and then quickly towards the end. And negative values bend in the opposite way. And as this value gets further away from zero, the shape of the curve becomes more extreme. So here's our tone going down an octave over two seconds linearly. Going up an octave with a positive curve. And down an octave once more with a negative curve. When applied to pitch, negative curves tend to be more useful because when a value changes, a negative curve moves it close to its target quickly and then levels off, which is kind of the natural and most common way to perform a glissando. Whereas positive curves cause the value to stay mostly where it is until the very end of the lag time. So there's kind of this awkward delay. Lag is not just useful for frequency. It can be applied to just about anything. For example, let's get rid of this envelope here and instead lag the amplitude, creating a sort of dynamic envelope that can be controlled stage by stage using set messages. Another use for lag, uh, if you have an external physical controller, like a motion sensor or something, that kind of data tends to be jumpy. And typically you don't want to plug that straight into your synthesis algorithm because it makes your sound all wobbly and unstable. Lag is very handy here, capable of smoothing out that data once it's mapped onto some synthdef argument, softening all the hard edges, and becoming uh, much friendlier for musical applications. Now, a quick note about var lag. Though it is useful and flexible, it can and likely will exhibit weird behavior if applied to an audio rate signal, as discussed in this warning here at the top of the help file. But lag has a few other siblings. Lag 2 and lag 3 are shortcuts for double and triple nested lags, so to wrap up, here's one more example to help visualize these behaviors. So SIG here is a sample and hold noise generator. It's basically a random staircase shape producing 50 values per second. And we're gonna plot half a second of five different signals. The original noise, that noise passed through a lag, a lag two, lag three, and finally two lag threes in series, which would be the equivalent of lag six each with a lag time of 0.01 seconds. And as you can see, all these signals get progressively smoother as we lag them more aggressively. So that's most of the lag family in a nutshell. It's pretty handy stuff, almost kind of essential in some cases. So use it well, have fun smoothing out all your signals. Uh, shout out to my awesome patrons. You all are the best. Uh, thank you so much for supporting these tutorials. Really appreciate it. And to everyone, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.